was just one of those kids that walked in a room and it was like, hi, I'm here, I'm Nathan, you know, and yeah, he's just a good kid and everyone loved him. He was a nutcase, he was just one of those different guys, like, you know, there's just something about them that's really interesting. His little attitude to everything, he's always a joker, eh? always playing pranks and uh, yeah, it's making you laugh. <laughs> I've got a big collection of his art. Pictured something and boom, yeah. it appeared on the page just how he said it was going to be. The goal he had in mind was to have an exhibition and unfortunately that he didn't quite make that. It was like fights between me and Udo who would get to hang out with Nathan, like literally it was. We were, no, he's mine tonight, he's mine tonight. Yeah, well, it was all a good, loose, friendly relationship and um, yeah, it's came to an abrupt end, unfortunately, but we got to know him pretty well. It was Udo's birthday on the, on the Sunday. Nathan said, oh, we're gonna go, go out to pick a pick for the day. I was like, sweet as. Udo's parents had called me and said, look, he said he'd be home at six and he's not home. We started to think, where could they be? We started calling their friends. I knew something was wrong. Got a feeling, eh? Didn't, yeah. didn't want to think anything of it. So they went AWOL and it was out of, out of ordinary. I was at home and uh, the car pulled up. I heard footsteps coming up to the front door. <laughs> and I was a policeman. And I knew, I knew that the worst thing had happened 